Hi guys, this is Connie from Connie's Nails and Creative Creations. Today I am taking part in the Chic for Cheap Craft Challenge. This is um, created and she does it every month and that is Christy Creates. And her co-host today is, or, is Annalie Ashby DIY. So let's get right to this. Now I went on to Kirkland's and this is the product that I saw just kind of fell in love with. It is like a little planter with a box and just jars sticking in, in it with some greenery. And it's $69.99. Now this is the project that I made. It's only got two, but it costed me less than $2 to make. So I call that a pretty good deal. So let's get right into it. All right. I got these uh, wood planks from uh, Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to use three. There's six in the package, but I'm going to use three of them. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this wood to make this box, and um, I'm going to use the uh, tongue depressors or craft sticks from the Dollar Tree as well. So I'm going to use um, wood glue and hot glue to hook this together. And I'm just kind of looking at it, figuring out exactly what I want to do. So, and I've got, I buy my wood glue in gallon jugs because I do a lot of woodworking. So I just poured some in this little tiny jar so that I have it uh, ready at the go. Okay, so I'm just putting the, the wood glue on the edge. And then I'm going to use hot glue and I'm going to put that right on the empty spot. That will give me the quick um, bond, but the wood glue is going to give me the um, long term. Wood glue is actually stronger than wood um, when it dries. If you try to pull it apart, you're probably going to break your wood because um, molecularly, well, Molecularly, well, yeah, I can't say that right. Sure. On the molecular level, it is stronger than wood. So that's why uh, so many people use it. I know woodworkers that sometimes will use that over uh, nails or screws because it's just so uh, tough. Okay, and I was just trying to make sure I had that a good fit on there that it was going to be nice and strong. And I'm just putting a little bit in the corners there where there was a little bit of a gap. And um, then I'm going to go ahead and put it on the uh, next side. Now, another thing about wood glue is you can get it on a lot of other stuff and it just comes right off. Um, if you get it on something that's not wood, so easy. I just rub it and it comes right off because it's made to be on wood, not anything else. So, I mean, it's just a glue um, otherwise, or sometimes it doesn't even stick. There's all kinds of glues for different products, and that is a wood glue for a reason. So here I am putting the um, hot glue on that uh, second, where that second, that third piece is going to um, fit on there. And then I think, hmm, I don't want to take this wood out, another piece of this wood, and cut it in half on my saws. This wood is so thin, but I didn't want to score it and maybe destroy it. So I thought, hmm, we'll use these craft sticks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, trim them down, put them across each, both of those ends, and I'm using... Uh, the wood glue and the um, hot glue just so that I get it on there um, actually I think I just used uh, just hot glue for this part I did add some of the wood glue so I'm just gonna let you sit there and watch me get this done
Okay, now that I got those sides finished, I am going to grab some of those popsicle sticks and just put them on the inside for more stability. And now I am taking some and I'm going to be trimming them down uh, to fit the corners so the corners um, there's no gap really and it just looks more finished so I'm just um, trimming those down and I'm going to uh, get those all connected okay now I've got those all cut or pretty close to being cut then I'm just going to start um, with the hot glue and I'm just going to be sticking those on as soon as I got them the right um, length and like I said I'm putting two on each corner so it ended up being um, eight sticks that I cut and put those on the corners and um, if you don't forget to go down to the description box down there I'm going to have a link to the playlist and I'm going to put the link also in the first comment if you're on a mobile device for some reason those links are not working unless it's in the comments so I'll try to remember to get that done um, if you can't get on leave a comment and I'll um, get that link on there if I forget but here I am putting those little blocks from the Dollar Tree on the bottom because I wanted mine to stand up and not be um, flat to the ground. So once I get those all done, I'm going to grab my um, white chalk paint that I made and I am going to paint this. Okay, I end up putting two coats of white paint on this planter. I wasn't too worried about the inside because with all that green that I'm putting in it around the jars, it's you're not going to be able to see it. And the jars I ended up using was one was a Classico and one was an Alfredo sauce. They're a little bit different in size, one's taller, but they end up looking great because of all the greenery inside the little box so what I was saying before about going down and um, in the description box I'm also going to have uh, Christy Creates and Anna, Anna Lee Ashby's uh, channel link in there and all the stuff that I use all my tools and stuff I have all my the links in my link tree and they link you right to my um, Amazon storefront. Okay, now it's all dry and I'm putting the jars in there. Now this is a pick of greenery that I got from Joann's. Um, the, old, the nearest Joann's to me is over an hour away so I ordered it when they were having their free shipping and these were all on sale so I spent less than $1.50 for a whole bunch of picks. So I'm just kind of sticking these in here. This way, if I ever decide to take them out, I can. They're not glued in there. Now, I'm not putting anything in those uh, jars, but I think it would be really pretty to put uh, some flowers, um, whatever season you're in. So this could be something that can be out all year round. It looks very springy to me, but um, like I said, you could keep it up all, at least all summer, spring and summer. And I'm just fiddling with these, um, all of these uh, stems to make sure that it sits in there right. I was having a little bit of problem, they were sticking out too much. Then when I get to the back, I figure it all out, figure out how I really want to do them. So I go back and change some of the ones in the front and I end up using this whole pick. Um, I love this. I don't. I forgot what it's called, but I just love the look of this um, this greenery. It's the same greenery that they used on the um, inspiration. And like I said, uh, the inspiration was sixty nine dollars, and I think this costed me maybe two dollars. 
it was one dollar for the pick um, 50 cents for the well maybe 80 cents for the wood and that's about it because the paint I've had for a long time I I buy um, a lot of my white acrylic paint in uh, gallon jugs so uh, I just make my chalk paint as needed now I am a plaid ambassador and so I'm going to be changing over all my paints to plaid and it's also folk art and Waverly they also have Mod Podge and waxes and lots of different stuff so as you can see that back part is thicker but it has the same amount of picks it was the way I had set them up so now I'm going back and um, fiddling with those and uh, that's when I got get them where they're really nice and full and I have to add a little a few more and I think I have one or two more little picks to put in there yep two of them so I'm gonna go ahead and cut those and get those in and I hope you guys really enjoyed this don't forget to um, hit the subscribe button as well as give me a big th thumbs up and hit that notification bell that way you'll know when I upload a video and I hope you guys really enjoyed this I really like this it's very very simple elegant and just beautiful and also I didn't I lost the footage on that little box where I used a little bit of uh, black and that's why you can see the black paint on the the paper there is I used a little bit of black paint and I dry brushed it it gave it a little bit more depth and uh, just made it look more kind of like more farmhouse because it's farmhouse farmhouse elegant I guess but I hope you guys like this and you guys have an amazing day and please don't forget to be the Bible somebody reads today and you guys all have just a blessed week bye bye